So hi, everyone. Welcome. I'm Cheryl Hung. I'm the director of ecosystem at the CNCF. So this talk is mainly aimed at open source project maintainers who might be thinking about whether CNCF would be a good home for their project. So you probably already know that projects are ordered by sandbox incubating and graduated. So going from the least mature up to the most mature. So I'm going to talk about why projects are actually chosen at each stage and what that process looks like. CNCF itself doesn't choose which projects are hosted. Instead, that is the job of the Technical Oversight Committee, or the TOC. So it's this group of nine people. They're elected to represent the community, and they sponsor and vote on what projects come in and out of the CNCF. So the basic process is that two members of the Technical Oversight Committee need to sponsor a project for it to come in as a sandbox project. To go from sandbox to incubating, there's a public vote, and two thirds of those TOC members need to approve it for it to become an incubating project. And then same again for graduated. So another two thirds need to vote, approve to go to graduated. Once the project is in, it goes through an annual review to check that it's still at the right level. And if a project is losing momentum, then the TOC can also vote to archive this project. So now I'm going to break down what these stages mean and what the TOC actually looks for. So sandbox projects just need to show that they're relevant. They solve an actual problem and they fit into a cloud native architecture. So you would be asked, how does it look? How does it compare with the other alternatives? You need to check that everything is properly licensed, not just your own code, but all of the dependencies that it relies upon. To go to incubating projects, the TOC will look for evidence of adoption. So this is more like developer advocacy or outreach you need to find out who's using your open source projects, talk to them, write case studies about it, speak publicly about what you're doing. And then the TOC will also look for evidence that more than one company is contributing to this project. Once you get to graduated stage and you have multiple companies who are contributing, you need to publish the decision making process and show that you have a shared governance model. And then you also need to follow the industry best practices around documentation, testing, security, code of conduct, et cetera, et cetera. OK, so if you're not interested in donating a project, but you do want to see what's coming next, all of this is available publicly on GitHub. So you can go to this link in the bottom left-hand corner and you can see what are the next projects that might come into the CNCF. If you are very passionate about this and you think that you want to volunteer some time, then the CNCF also has special interest groups, or SIGs. And these are groups of volunteers who donate their time towards assisting the TOC and evaluating the projects. And with the idea that maybe one day a SIG contributor might want to run for TOC themselves. If you have any questions about it, please contact my colleague, Amy. She's here at KubeCon, of course. Um, she handles all of this process, so she's happy to answer any questions that you have. And that's it. These slides are on my blog, and thank you so much.